Okay, so I'm just recording this off the cuff here. I'm actually talking to Tor on my headset right now. And we're printing, we're going to have the SVO6 print its own bracket for the LCD conversion. Because we had to design a new one for this. We started a print here. This is the first time printing one of our slice files. We have standard starting G-code, G28, G29 for the sensor and everything. Went through and did the leveling routine. And now the touchscreen is stuck on auto leveling. Please wait. But you can see it's printing. There's nothing special about the G code we're using. It's standard G code we use on every single printer. I can't adjust my Z offset because the touchscreen is is stuck. Now I don't know if I unplug it and replug it will happen. Let's see. So I literally had to unplug it and replug it. And Tor, do you see this? Tor can see my camera right now. Um, all right, let's see. Can I? I can adjust my Z now. So that's that's crazy. So I'm I'm just gonna let this go, but. This is why I don't like these screens. They're buggy. And this is the first time I actually printed with a slice G code file. Now, they might have some special starting code that they might be using with theirs. Uh, but this is standard starting code. Um, G28 followed by G29. G29 generates the mesh. G28 homes your printer. This standard code should work on this machine. It should work on any machine that runs Marlin. And this one runs Marlin, and they butchered the code with the LCD so much that it doesn't go back. I had to replug that. So you guys just saw that. I literally just tried that. I didn't know that that was actually going to make it go back. Um, but this is one of the reasons we do firmware for these printers, because these companies just don't know how to do it correctly. Um, and as I showed in the video where we did the unboxing, um, they modify the code heavily to get this thing to work, um, and still it, it doesn't work correctly. And I highly doubt they're ever going to release any sort of major updates to this printer's code. So you're basically stuck using their buggy code, or you do what we do, which is we put the RLCD kits on here, we change the firmware out, and you can get standard Marlin that's not this bastardized version that these companies use. So anyways, I'm going to let this print its own bracket. This is our first test fit, so I'm going to have it print its own bracket, kind of a rite of passage. And then um, I just shot the video for the power supply, so this is actually printing. <laughs> Since I'm going to post this anyways, this is actually printing with our 350 watt Meanwell. And we actually were able to hit 100C on the bed with this printer. So if you guys wondering if the SV06 Plus will hit 100C? Absolutely. Um, would I trust it to do it with the stock power supply? Probably not. A lot of people are already reporting failures with the stock power supply, which is really concerning. Um, but with the Meanwell, we'll be fine. So anyways, I'm going to get back to working on making this printer not suck. And I hope you guys watch, or hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm just uploading. I'm not cutting anything. This is just an off-the-cuff video. So, bye-bye now. I will see you guys later.